On the subject of girls, you asked me about the reaction. Well, I'll tell you, this um, business that I'm in, um, I would say 60% of it is on emotion and uh, a word which we all know and I'm not in accord to using, but it's the only word which can sum up what I have to say, which is sex. As far as the girls who turn out and scream, which is what you mean, and stand there and cry and things like that, uh, it's something that I wouldn't knock. It's something that I am not against. It's something that I don't disapprove of. It's something I'm very happy of. And I think that they kind of feel, if I'm singing like a lonely boy, they like to feel, well, they're the girl that I'm singing about. Oh, I can't believe I'm looking at them. Hello. How are you, honey? Uh, where's your camera? Where's Did you come in with us? No. I'm good. I came in by myself. You're alone? Mm -hmm. From New York? No, from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? Yeah. I got that everything, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'll come out afterwards. Let me go in and see if I'm late, and then we'll sign all your stuff after. Okay? Wait right here. Uh, it, uh, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> You're going to see the show or what? I just see the show. You can't. I couldn't get one of you. I'm going to make it in. It's too fucking salt. Paul's features are excellent. Uh, his eyes are great. He has a great mouth. And uh, uh, it is no secret, last year, uh, we had a plastic surgery job on his nose. Irvin Feld, Paul Anka's personal manager. The, the picture is entirely different than it was four years ago. And if you were to look at some of his pictures four years ago and then see Paul today, you wouldn't believe it's the same person. And people even say this now. If they haven't seen any of the new pictures and they then see him in person, I mean, this is the comment, and I'm sure that you must have heard it around. Gee, he doesn't look the same as his pictures. He's so handsome. Now, Paul will be 20 in July. And uh, it's very simple for me personally to have kept him working and to keep all the other young stars working on one night tours. But then when you're planning a career, you say, well, where do they go from here? And of course, the way you're recognized most uh, in the United States is if you're accepted in the big nightclubs. These are the plush clubs throughout the country, the biggest places where it costs you a lot of money to sit down they play to the sophisticated people. And I felt that if Paul could make it in this area, that I could capture every other area. And this is the way I groomed him, so that he was the youngest performer ever to appear in the big clubs that he appeared in. What a glow, what a thrill for me to say hello. You want the waiters to move around a little bit? Oh, All right, Bruno. Tell the waiters to, like, move around as if they've got action. You know what I mean? No, no, no. Jules Podell, owner of the world-famous Copacabana. Uh, I heard about Paul Anker about... Uh, Two years ago. And um, <clears throat> how'd you hear about him? Well, I've heard about him through uh, the trade papers. Uh, I happened to uh, buy one of his records, the first one he made. Mm -hmm. He had a terrific personality. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the public just takes to him. They like him. As soon as he steps out on the floor, he has no problem of entertaining them in any shape or form. Well, Is it all right to light the cigar? Oh, yeah, yeah, please. No cover charge. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 